going to help me one day to build my character and to build my brand and to build me as a person. Sometimes people speak from emotions and it can be painful, but they may be right. You understand? So you don't throw everything out and say, oh, no, because this one is jealous. or No, 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 no. I don't do that. So when people give me advice, when people try and advise me, when people are trying to say something to me, even if sometimes it can be painful, I do listen. If it's something that is going to build me at the end of the day. So I'm handling society pressure by listening and selecting what I need from what everyone is saying. In terms of the spotlight, when people are like, hey, take pictures of you. I mean, I went into the house and everyone knows me. I cannot blame them and say, oh, no, today, no. They love me from the house. And I need to actually, like, um, uh, what is this? Um, sh give, give them the love back because no one put a gun on their faces. I mean, on their heads and say, love Yolanda. They chose to love me. And they don't know how many people I'm meeting every day. They expect me to love them and show them love every single second that I meet them. And that's what I signed up for when I went to the house. So I cannot come out and say, no, you understand. Sorry, guys, I have flu, but I'm going to. And then they also gave me another one. Let's go ahead and open it together. Okay, packaging cute. White. Love it so. Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shiosly Mimi, where you get a gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get a gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get a gist? I see the hearts. So, guys, um, it is a congratulation something to, uh, what is her name, Z, and um, Twinsar. As actually, um, as you can see, um, the posted they are going to appear on MTV base. Talking about they are going to appear already. Twenza has delivered yesterday. Like when I say deliver, like he was on MTV yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think um, it's just remaining Z's turn. I, they are not going to do it at once. It's just for the week. So yeah, the fans, their friends have been celebrating them, congratulating them because of that. In fact, my character had to post and said, Twenza and um, Z are flying towards us. <laughs> wow, they've been like bicycle. Any which ways I'm coming from Nampua. I am so proud of you, Z. You go, girl. Guys, see our Zio. Z that reads when presenting is who they are going to be watching on one of the biggest platform. My God doesn't wear sandals bro so proud of my girl indeed your god doesn't wear sandals hey <laughs> all right the cutest kimmy said i remember when z went pitching for this mtv based role two days post show this is a babe that's 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 shy and scared of public speaking seeing her challenge herself like that is amazing today she's a guest presenter true definition of hard worker congratulations z truly um z is one shy person but it's so sweet to say that she's overcoming all of that because why not she's a public figure so she needs to do what overcome all of the shyness meanwhile talking about um the congratulation throwing in i told you guys already twins that went for his as he posted and said back on tv where i belong you know posting this showcasing herself i mean himself whichever one you know and then um Sabelo and Kube, that is Papa Ghost, says to Twenza, 
in your natural habitat simply when i am waiting for more wings and then she replied she said okay not reply to papa goose but she posted and said oh my god i did that thank you mtv base this was after um she did the presenting or whatever yeah so you guys will be seeing Trenza and Z on your screen. That is so sweet to see. This month alone, we said Sobet, Nedbank, and now MTV Base. To many more for the Trenza name. And Zintis Bunda said, I am so happy for you, babe. You really deserve it. And she said, thank you so much. So this is a proud Trenza saying the month of April have been so sweet. Sobet, Nedbank, and now MTV Base. Yeah, when she did that of Nedbank, I actually discussed it here too. That is um gig. Yeah, it's the gig that she has gotten this month. Three good sweet gig. Happy for you, Chunyon. So happy for you, baby. I am so happy for you, Choo Choo. Two more gigs. Well done, Choo Choo. Congratulations. It is so sweet to see that she, um, she is pleased at least that April was so good to her. I mean, twins her. And then she also said... Seeing all of this that, are, that is going on in her life, I mean, Chuen, and then Chuenza said, Hope I am making my 1% of fans proud. Okay, the replies um, she got is this Big Brother is over, and it makes me so happy to see you all winning and pursuing your dreams because that was the aim of going to the house. So, you making us Big Brother watchers very happy. All of us are proud. Okay. Alright, this is the Liam Aston. As you can see the hashtag below. Babe, you're making all of us proud. It feels so sweet to see people from other fan base appreciate this house because that is one thing that is very difficult on BB streets. Because fans are so, so becladded in starship that they barely see good things about other housemates these days. So that is a thumbs up to that person, that Liam Aston there. Alright, and then this is a Papa Ghost stand. Sweet to see. As a ghost pop, you are making me proud. Irreplaceable Papa Ghost. That's so sweet. Oh, yeah, it's your, you're making all of us proud, sweetheart. And we are no longer 1% now. We are so proud, babes. You are. So, Chuenza, they said you are really making them proud. So, kudos to you. And then, Chuenza also said thank you to everyone who, who tuned into my first presenting gig since leaving the house. More wins to come. For now, time to go back into a hustle mood. Exactly the point continue the hustle god will continue to bless you and that is on prayer you stay on your lane you do your thingy you know and watch god do his work on you okay guys and twins i did not leave mtv base without doing the liema dance challenge this is what they call support right here you're at that stage and you said no you must do um liema's dance that is so sweet to see okay um guys this is actually so funny so taki was keeping up with his fans you know the other day and then he was asking the fans how that was the month of april for them and then they were giving many reasons until this particular reason appeared that says well it's ended badly because i am single now because of bbm and being a dominator and then Taki has to call out Z for his uh said Zin to Z, come sit, come the side. Z replied, Hey, Banna, you know. And then people were like, Wait, Taki, don't you think don't you think this person is actually saying this on your behalf because your relationship with Neo <laughs> that ended because of you went for Z's party? Okay, Sinaye. Oh, it was actually an interesting day because Sinaye. Um, and the fans made it so sweet. I can't believe I once said all of those things. Keep them coming, please. I'll let you win, babe. I wanted you to win. Now, here is the game that Sinai fans were playing um, yesterday. It was not TBT because it was a Monday, but they had to go a throwback Monday for Sinai. They brought out all the things he was saying in the house. It's just a challenge of Sinai once said. So, um, Chili Bai said, this is you right now, Laura. Better believe it. So, Sinai seeing all of these things were so surprised. He was like, yo? Did I say all of those things in the house, you know? And then Sniper's HQ said, now he always, how he always said, it's probably me, big brother, whenever asked but who does he think is living? Yo Ndim Nokungawo. We would be so mad because Akia Singi but Simvotelena. 
you know, meaning that they feel so disappointed whenever Sinai said he is probably going home. When Big Brother asked him, whom do you think will be going home for um, Sunday eviction? He always chose himself, so true. Him, him um, what was his name, MC Junior, always chose himself. And then Sinai said, hey, shh, I put you guys through a lot. Hey, you know. And then he said, hey, Nina, you guys were ready. All this video you are tagging me on. And then Lola, Lona Lona said, we are flying upon you. You know, and the thing is, most of the videos they shared with Sinai was filled with the Sinai moment. I think Sinai will be like, yo, these people, you guys really, really want to want this thing to happen. So he posted and said, today was so much fun. I really enjoyed looking back and reflecting on all the videos that you guys tagged me in. Ever since I have been out, out I haven't really had the chance to do that. Thank you guys for entertaining me today. So the sniper Sinai said he was entertained because he hasn't had time to see whatever happened during in the house. Yeah. You need to work on your TikTok, Mr. Kotobe. It is literally about to cut cobwebs. You need to be active on all apps. We should need all audience. You are so appreciative. It's so sweet. We appreciate you. Anyway, ways, guys, before we continue, I really hope you ignore the background noise because, yeah, yeah, it is raining here and I am one of the happiest person right now in Lagos. Of course, you know, I'm a privilege fan, so I really enjoy this weather. Heat don't finish my life. All right, and Nancy said, we enjoyed interacting with you too. Now, let's get working on that TikTok account, Mr. Kotobe Abeg. Did you see how much they loved your situationship with Z? We love you. You see, talking about situationship, they posted the video of himself and Z so, so much. If they did not even post all. And then Sinai was also graceful. Okay, let's read this together. Such an eventful weekend. Thank you so much to everyone who played a role. Incredibly blessed to have experienced everything I was exposed to. Ready to work hard on Sinai the brand. So this is a graceful Sinai about the um, events of last week and how everything went on. As you can see, this was the one that he went with Z together. You know, so from um, SABC, you know, that he shared. So he actually replied and said it was an interesting one. Yeah. So, Sinai said he is ready to walk. Meanwhile, um, someone posted and said, Papa Ghost, as a talent scout, would slap. He has a good eye for talent and loves to see people doing their best. Irreplaceable Papa Ghost. And then Sinai replied and said, Straight facts. He is going to uncover so much talent in the near future. I just know it. When I saw Sinai giving Papa Goat, Papa, sorry, I said Papa Goat. Oh my God, Papa Goat is accolade. I actually smiled. I said, you see this life, this life, no balance. You just this housemate from the house you're doing yourself. Because I remember Papa Goat and Sinai were not really cool in the house until the last week. Yeah. Meanwhile, guys, it's about the time. Are you a Makeke lover? This is for you. It is homecoming o'clock for Makeks, our guy. Mm -hmm. You know how Smith have been doing their homecoming, homecoming, homecoming. And Makeke said, it is finally time to actually, you know, get to do this thing in with Makeks. As he says, it feels so good to be back home. The wait is over. Come and celebrate my homecoming with me on the 4th of May at Makoya Chandis 2.0 in Voslorius from 4 p.m. till late. Check out the link below to purchase your ticket. You see this um, ticket is a sold out because Makeke is always representing for other people. Now, talking about Makeke, let's talk about Makeke's baby, Yolanda. Guys, hmm... And about to get interesting, but let me read this first. Are you guys ready for this podcast? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are dropping on Wednesday at 15.00. If you love Yolanda, in fact, even if you do not love Yolanda, I think the best thing you would do to yourself is go subscribe on that YouTube channel. You know why? Because Yolanda is a, an interesting personality. So she's actually starting off her podcast, which she will be posting on YouTube. I actually love this move by Yolanda. Like, it gladdens my heart. Baby girl actually took the right step. She really deserves. She has the audience. You know, she has the mouth. She has the mouth, guys. Like, this girl gets mouth for days, you know. So, and the first one is going to be with, um, what was it called? With her bestie, her brother, her sibling, Mitch. 
it's actually an interesting one the sneak peek we got there was actually you know vibes you know so you know those two they carry fire for body so guys i'm telling you guys this thing for free if you manage to get to this section of this video which is the ending part of this video make sure you subscribe because you i'm sure not gonna regret it we all watched yolanda in the house she was one of the most entertaining housemates even when she was not her major strategy you know yeah anyway is guys me i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies